Oh. M. Mom! Hey, y'all. It's me, Jada Essence Hall. And I'm Heidi in Closet. And we are Hall and, and Closet. Closet. And today's very special guest is ASAP Science, the YouTube duo that makes science make sense, mother. Today, we talked about eating ass, jacking off, and depression. And, and depression. Mm-hmm. What do all of those things have in common? <laughs> They're Heidi. <laughs> They're Heidi. Now, y'all, let's get into some nonsense. Yes. Ooh, yeah. Uh-huh. I know that's right. I'm Heidi in Closet. And I'm Jada Essence Hall. And this is a show where we live, laugh, and light things up. Ooh. It's Hall, Hall and Closet! Closet. Jada, okay. we're back. Oh, we're back, girl. girl and okay. we got a new ca- a new tagline. A new tagline. A new backdrop. Laugh, learn, and light it up. Light it up. Kind of like these lit up backdrops the behind b- us. New backdrops. New space. D- do you feel like Little. the orange is complimenting the orange in that uh-huh. eye? I think it is. What do you think about like oranges in the morning? I love a good orange peel in the morning. Okay. I, I like to get the little small tangerines and just like, can you do one fully in a I circle? I thought you were talking about like a skin, like facial peel. That's not an orange peel. No, I'm talking about actual oranges, sister. Okay. Sister, can okay. you p- peel one perfectly without like breaking the peel? I've ne- never tried You've it. You've never tried is that, that? A, like, is that a party trick? No, it's just something <laughs> that I can do. These bitches at the party like, break out the tangerine. When you, <laughs> when you don't have a lot that's going for you, you take what you can get, okay? okay that's a, it's a talent. Yes. T. Well, I'm excited for a new season. I'm excited for a new season, Same. too. We got a new, this, the new tagline, laugh, learn, and light it up. I, I want to see up. that in people's bathrooms. I want to see that, like, Honestly, where instead of live, laugh, love. Is that the new Live, Laugh, Love? It, this is the new Live, Laugh, Love. Laugh, learn, and light up. Who said Live, Laugh, Love? Who said that? <laughs> Somebody that was probably Aristotle? high. Aristotle probably was high. What, who, no, who, Aristotle was, what, he was like, they, like gravity. No, no. Philosopher. Pluto. Pluto was what a philosopher. What do you say? Who said Live, Laugh, Love? Who do you think said it? Okay, if you, if you could name one celebrity right now that you think <laughs> would have invented Live, Laugh, Love. The Kardashians. Taylor Swift. No, it'd be something more depression based or like <laughs> breakup based if it was Taylor. What Swift. do you think it would be? What did for you Taylor think her, Swift? Yeah, uh, bad romance breakup depression. <laughs> I feel like that is her brand. No, girl, if you had that in your bathroom and somebody came <laughs> over and was literally in your bathroom taking a shit and read that. Maybe I don't they think w- that's, like, appropriate. They wouldn't be in the bathroom, then. They wouldn't want to go in there, so they wouldn't be using up all your toilet tissue. Then you wouldn't have to keep buying Girl, you be leaving toilet tissue in your bathroom for your people to use? Yes. Nobody's using up the toilet tissue. You don't You don't have an extra roll for the spare bathroom? Absolutely not. For your place in Vegas? Absolutely not. With your man? <laughs> That's a little inside joke. That's a little inside joke. That's a little inside joke. Oh, sorry. Y'all, I'm out of breath. Okay. Now, I have a question I'm for you, I'm gagging. Okay. I just had to look at my I, um, I don't tablet. know if you have tablet. um partook this smoking. This, this smoking. Yes. <laughs> if you have partaken Never. this morning. Okay. But would you say there is a limit to how high someone could get? I don't know. I feel like maybe there is... Mm-hmm. But do you feel like you've reached that limit? What are you talking about, Jada? Of, of how high you can get? Yeah. Do you think you've ever reached a limit? I think I think that there is a limit. Of what? Possibly. Of, of how high you could get if you smoked in the morning. High. I was talking about altitude on a plane or something. Jada. Oh. What are you... <laughs> You just over here. What? Where is your mind at, sis? What's going on? I thought you were saying how high we could get. Like no, how high? I'm literally talking about altitude on a plane, like thirty thousand feet in the air. Oh, you said because you know if I partook this morning. Uh huh. I thought you were talking because you don't live because you don't live here in yeah. L.A. So I, live in Vegas. I didn't know. Um, you, well, I'm not KT. I don't know what the altitude was, but I know it's a very like quick flight. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Do you think they're ever gonna finish the tube from L.A. to Vegas? Um. Yeah. They said the tube will take two hours. That's 
But, okay, but it's going to be a lot cheaper than a flight, though, too. Yeah, but then this is also the thing you have to it's think about. It's still the same day trip. They say two hours, but then where in the city is that tube dropping you off? That is a good question, because if it's, like, If it's place, downtown, then now you're going to have to travel. Because, because wait, where are you going from downtown? Where I mean, wherever you... To your house. To my house. Obviously. Oh, that's true. First stop. That's like a 45-minute moment, depending on traffic. Then. See? So mm. that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Then it's giving two hours and 45 minutes. Right now, I sound like Marge. <laughs> Marge Simpson. Very much like Marge. Homie. Home, Homer. <laughs> Gr- Whenever Georges is high, that's her go-to. That's oh, what you know. Bro, you Lagoon. know Georges is lit when she's going to the Marge. Voice. Bitch, if you shift this wig one more time. I, I, di- I, I did not... <laughs> You just... I did not pan it into the tape that's on my head. Well, hand, clearly. So it's just sitting right there. Bitch, if you bobbled it, bitch, it's been. It's been. Yeah. It's went to the Beyonce bang. It then went to a low to the lid bang. It then went up to the Lady Gaga bang. Bitch, look. Oh, my God. It then did the Fat Albert girl. Let's look at it. Anyways, I feel uh, like it's a versatile bang, sister. It is a versatile... Well, now you got to pull the sides up. <laughs> Whoop the boops. You can see, look at you. Look at the brand new screens we have. Look you at look, how terrible you look. I look great, bitch. Excuse you. <laughs> I look incredible. How dare you? I think you do. Well, the thing is, you can't see with that bag. <laughs> um, <laughs> you a nasty guy. What is, what is your morning wig process? My morning wig process? Well, I, I, I get up. I walk okay. to the drag room. Yes. I look at the ones. Why is it so dramatic? <laughs> And Why did it have to be so dramatic? Okay, go off. I wanted to take you on the train okay, with I'm me. Coming. Did you not want to go? Yeah, I'm coming. Okay. Are we wearing socks or? We're wearing this, uh, my, my Reebok slides that I'm wearing right now. Okay, well, these. okay. We're we can't these. We can't both be wearing them. We can. You said you, I'm on the journey too, right? You're on the journey. Okay, you okay. can have my HOH slippers that I got. Um, okay. Head of household? Head of household. You watch Where did brother? you get them from? Don't worry about it. Um, but uh, we, we go to the drag room. Okay. We look at the wigs. We see which one's the least ratted. Okay. We grab her. Okay. <laughs> we throw her in the suitcase. So this is off. so this is a difficult thing to do it's, in the morning. It, it is. It's because it's a lot of ratted wigs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have to sort through all the messed God up wigs. Damn. You know? Make the morning yeah. hard. You mm-hmm. got to. So if if you go and if you're traveling, then you need to do that the night before. Yeah, no. Are, wait, hold on. For, when you're packing for gigs, are you like a last second packer or are you like a... Because I'm the type of person, I like to take the whole day before I travel to pack. and just pack that whole day. Like I set that whole day aside and I just get high and I like slowly pack throughout the day. Do whatever I need to do well, throughout the day. Well, then if you spend that time pack packing, well. then where do you have the time to sleep? By the time I'm done packing, I'll have time. I'll be like 8 p.m. so I can have time to sleep. Okay. Yeah. You, you be in bed by 8 p.m. You do go no. to bed early a little bit. I... I I said I would be done by 8 p.m. I don't know if I would be in the bed by 8 p.m., but I have okay. the option to. You know. But as for a drag queen, what what is the time you go to bed usually, generally? You God. go to bed pretty early. For me, I like if I'm not working, it's like at 11 or something. Okay. I, that's why I lay, like, lay down in the bed. But if I'm on the gig, you know, 2, 3 o'clock uh, in the morning. 4, four 5. Sometimes uh, not. Go straight to the airport for the next gig. Okay, Ooh. Very She's that, that kind of girl. That's kind of fierce. But, then, and, and, but if it's like a long flight... Nonstop. It's okay. I don't mind the long flight nonstop because then you uh you can just fall asleep on the plane and enjoy the plane ride. Yeah, if you can. So that's that. Okay. Okay. Oh, well then I think we should take a little break right now. Let's take a break. Let's get into it. I'm gonna get back into this fruit. Cheers. Cheers. We are back. back. Thanks for being here with us. Now, today we actually have some very special guests with us here mm-hmm. today. They're coming via the Zoom. Via the Zoom. Uh-huh. Z- zoom, Zoom, Zoom. It's giving, it's giving pe- pe- visit to the Pandemorama. Not, th- <laughs> not that. <laughs> now we going back. To the Pandemorama dimension. Take me back. Take me back. But we have... <laughs> but we do have a very, very special sickening guest. Mm-hmm. Um, and those guests are... ASAP Science. ASAP. Yes. ASAP. Hey. Hi. <laughs> How are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? Good. We're just in awe of your beauty, you know. Thank you. <laughs> we We're put it on just for you. Distance. We're in Toronto, so there hasn't been sun here in two months. Tasty oh as fuck. I'm a white guy. I look like uncooked chicken skin. Wow. Wait, is it true that it's been like two months without sun? Is that is that real? Yeah. 
It's actually, like, yeah. yeah. Okay, Don't so, get us. So I was in Norway okay, this, yes. this past year, and Ooh. it doesn't get dark until like 11. 11 p.m. And it doesn't get like pitch black dark. You can still fully see everything. Yeah. Is it like that at any point of the year in, in Toronto? In the summer, yes. So it's, it's not maybe not as extreme, but then in the winter, it's like by 2 p.m. It's dark, basically. <laughs> oh, my God. So no. I was there, and it was like, what? It was like 4 a.m., and it was still like bright out. So does that mean everything. the sun is coming? up earlier it's just not fully going down maybe yeah oh. yeah come setting late coming up earlier if you're okay. in norway for Oof. sure see i don't know that's that's how oslo is in norway i believe <laughs> wait so what kind of science do y'all specialize in knowing wait well wait well first i would, would we get the opportunity to introduce their names to the entire world oh absolutely because i don't want to <laughs> i don't want to take that away from y'all so what are your names and pronouns i'm greg hey greg and i'm mitch Hey, and we're race science. science. We're both he, him. Yeah. Um, and we're gay science kids. <laughs> I love so we're gay science. science. Communicators. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So like when you said, what do we specialize in? It's mostly like biochemistry. Physics is like what scares us the most. But the other two, you know, we can throw down. Yeah. Physics is like where the straight boys go. <gasps> okay, bio yes. boys are like, we want to learn about dicks and vaginas and the yes. body. That's why we're biology kids. <laughs> Yes. So, what is the what is the gayest piece of science you know? <laughs> well, one of the recent videos we made was about eating ass. <gasps> oh my god! And now wait a minute. We it. talked about this. We we've we had a lot of conversations. Yeah, drink water. That. Drink water. We need, to hear, we need to hear about this. Okay, so actually, I think it might have even been Norway. Call back. Um, they started <laughs> real realizing that uh, gay men were getting food poisoning at three times the rate the, of the rest of society. And they realized it's because you might be blaming your food poisoning on something else, but it's actually just because we're eating so much ass. <laughs> and it's a fecal oral... <laughs> Um, the like transmission. bacterial transmission, and so, so basically, you yeah, said it's like somebody rubbing their ass in your salad. Yeah, not, not in front and, of my and, Essentially, yeah. and, and there's food? like specific microbiome, mi like uh, bacteria, one called like Shigella, that gets spread really easily through the ass. Then your mouth goes on that. Then that's in your body, and is like similar to food poisoning, or can be a type of food poisoning. And so they were like, "Why do gay men get food poisoning so much more than everybody else?" <laughs> Maybe that's what was wrong with me yesterday. Uh, were you, were that you recently <laughs> I been dining out? I haven't been eating ass. No, I don't. You know, I don't do that. I'm a Christian woman. Maybe I just. <laughs> Maybe you had an ass salad. Maybe someone sat on my food. <laughs> sat on your salad. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. Like, food <laughs> actually is usually someone who hasn't washed their hands after going to the bathroom, and you need so few of okay. these bacteria to get sick. But the eating ass issue with gay men is that you still can transmit it from the butai hole uh -huh. okay. for two weeks after you haven't had symptoms. So I think one of the reasons why it's happening is people probably are like, okay, I feel better. Like, come eat my ass. But they <laughs> right. still are giving. Oh, my so God. Heidi, you got to wait a few weeks. I've, yeah. never, <laughs> I, I've never even started. Though. So wait, so if you have food poisoning, <laughs> if, if you have food poisoning and you eat, you get food poisoning, and then you get your ass eaten, maybe seven days later, like the ring. You could mm -hmm. still yeah, make somebody yeah, person's gonna get, get it. food poisoning. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that yeah. Oh my god! Has this if information you, ass to mouth? Has this information detoured y'all from eating ass? Huh. Um, it's made me um more specific mm -hmm. about whose ass I'll eat. Okay. That's fair. Like, I have questions yeah. before. You're like, when did you last shower? Yeah. And also, like, how how intense was the shower also? Okay. Like, did you get up in there? When, when was the last time yeah. you had food poisoning? <laughs> exactly. That would be a really good question. <laughs> have you had food poisoning recently? Just need to know before I eat your ass. Okay. Just a checklist. <laughs> like, a full honestly, checklist. That's incredible, like, public health information. And then they, they're not going to say this on uh, the nightly news. Of course not. <laughs> they won't. They don't, because they don't want us to know. They don't want, they want us. <laughs> They don't want us to know. They want us to, to have keep fucked up salads. Throwing up <laughs> ass salads. Uh, the okay. tossing salad mixing into all this is quite interesting. Mm. Even yeah. if you were just referring to people tossing salad with their hands and they haven't washed their hands after wiping their ass. You can still get food poisoning from that way, no? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, that's, where, that's how a lot of food poisoning, especially with like greens and stuff, it's often like unclean hands making food that then you eat that hasn't been cooked. And so like it doesn't kill the bacteria. You eat it, you get food poisoning. <laughs> Wow. Okay. And we talked about this before, me and Heidi, because mm -hmm. I'm like thinking why we have scientists here. 
Um, <laughs> we talked about this before. So. <laughs> She's like, who um, are so these it slipped my mind. You yeah. say- <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> oh, you lost it. No, I got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's she's she, she sometimes sometimes she comes off the rail, but she always gets back on it. But yeah, it's yeah, a monorail. No, it's, it's a monorail. It derails. Okay, what is the place? What is the singular place with the dirtiest hand washing activity bacteria? Like you believe? Uh, I don't want to say okay, where we well, said, but there was a place we thought. Yeah, like location, oh. location of a place. Oh, well, mine is like just based on the science, which is like not probably not what you're thinking which is like nurseries and like people who look after kids and oh. diapers and stuff like that gagging me because um, kids do be sick a lot yeah. yeah and they're shitting and they're like there's just shit yeah. everywhere oh my that makes god sense. but so, that's more the science thing I'm assuming that's not what you're what, what did you mean like where which part of like your home or society or in society, society like where they have a restroom hmm do you are you pitching something? Or are you asking us? We're a, well, I guess we're asking both. pitching. Well, okay. I was, I thought you were we'll a, give you the background we're, we're story. I guess it makes sense. Right we're now. playing ball right now, but I'll just tell you. <laughs> we thought collectively we spend a lot of time traveling, mm-hmm. and the airport bathrooms are fucking disgusting. No one ever washes their hands. In Never, there. ever, ever, it's ever. Ridiculous. And we're just traveling. It's everyone from everywhere coming through, then coming they, in, then coming they out. They have a fucking um, scanner ticket. And they pass it to the lady. That's scanning you in, and she scans <laughs> mm-hmm. it. Then she tried to grab my phone. I'm like, girl, I could brighten it up. <laughs> no, ma'am. I can scan it myself. <laughs> Literally saw that man just coming. He was in that bathroom for all of the 20 minutes we were waiting for this flight to board. And did not wash his and hands. And did not wash can. his hands. I am great. Well, here's a tidbit. If you're in a bathroom and you can't dry your hands properly, it's almost not worth washing your hands. So there's a lot of debate around, should you use an air dryer? Should you use like paper towel? Mm -hmm. If your hands are wet and then you have to touch stuff, you're way more likely to pick up other bacteria. So for me, Uh, and that's why like sometimes air dryers can be more effective, but if you don't use it long enough, that's why sometimes they say paper will be better because you're more likely to get the moisture off. But you did a video, isn't the answer paper then? Yeah, like, uh, well, obviously, like, air air dryers can save on waste and stuff like that. But most people do not put their hands under an air dryer for long enough to dry them. Right. Question. So, but isn't there poop yes. in the air in the air dryers? That's what yes, I heard on the internet. Some con- there's so been controversy, just... yeah, about, like, poop <laughs> In my mind, you can't really avoid that. They're just, like, floating out everywhere. Oh, my God. So um, we're, we're just breathing the, the, and shit. I mean, when you flush the toilet, yeah. the spores come up out oh of the toilet Oh, my God. That's well. why I tell you to cover oh. your toothbrush. You just, like, right up in and your And it face. is, like, the Shigella bacteria, you only need a hundred of them to get sick. And, like, that might sound like a lot, but that's, that's so minuscule. No, and they have, like, an amazing, effective ways of, like, thriving in your gut. So, like, I do think in airport, <laughs> so yeah, wow. move over nurseries. <laughs> airport is where that... Definitely don't eat ass in the airport because we know. What oh the my god! Are. Like, Hell yeah, no. it happens. I, Popping on first of all, eating ass in the airport. Let me tell you, okay. I, I would never eat ass in the airport, but I, but I, but <laughs> but there is but. a but. They're horny. Airports are horny. That's the people be people be nasty in airports. I'll be looking. I'll I be feel looking. like if you ate ass anyways at the airport, that does not count towards the Mile High Club. No, 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 no. no you no, have no. to be in the air. You're, you're grounded. grounded. Well, even if yeah. you were in the air and you ate ass, I'm, you in the laboratory, ass in that bathroom, that small ass bathroom. Could you imagine? <laughs> <trying> <laughs> God, to, just all curled up in the closet. <laughs> no. Kick the door open, girl. Get <laughs> my tongue ain't even got enough room in there. No, Lord, no. <laughs> you said that ain't enough room for my tongue, let alone a tongue and an ass in the bathroom. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. <laughs> so we have some wee questions. <laughs> Yes. Okay, <laughs> our favorite. We're Canadian. It's everywhere. We're oh. Canadian. Y'all, literally, I thought that to myself. I'm like, in Canada, they have dispensaries like we have liquor stores here. Yeah, it's they're mm-hmm. everywhere. 100%. Every I, single corner I love is it. a weed shop. I love it. That's how I feel like people are less angsty, less I, vodka, more weed. I recently went to a weed store that was themed after Star Wars. Why? Well, oh. um, Space Buds. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It was so much Girl. fun. Girl. Uh, <laughs> I like, Wait, like hot. each eat the products? The house is, like, Hello. Is, is like built into a house. The house is the, outside. It looks like a, something from a sci fi movie. Yeah. And then it has like, Whoa. um, like it has, what well, it had like, it had like R2D2 in there mm-hmm. and like, like all these. And you go in like the counters, like, Okay, they have like the numbers, magnifying right. glasses where you can like see the little buds up close. Oh, and they have the yeah. screens look like you're like moving through space. It's very interesting. Is Disney getting a cut of that? Um, 
<laughs> and I it's feel like shut down. <laughs> I, but we, we don't, I feel like it's less um, less Star Wars things, more <laughs> sci-fi, collectors, yeah, collectibles, collectibles. R2-D2 adjacent robot. Yeah, a Jedi. Like the color scheme of, you know. <laughs> they put on a Jedi show, but I don't feel like it's necessarily. They don't own Jedis. <laughs> okay, you get a free lightsaber <laughs> with every person. <laughs> yes, they do. They, they, <laughs> they literally but, do. <laughs> but do you think that there is ever a point um, that you could get too high? Ooh. Yes, we've got lots of science around. Well, it depends if you mean like too high in the moment or have too much weed in your week or month or year or life. Day. Day. I think you, you asked specifically of a day. Yeah. Cause well, you you can't overdose on weed, which is slay, unlike alcohol or other, yeah. you know, more common things. Like that's an important Pro weed scientific thing to understand but the amount you... of joints it's like fourteen thousand or something crazy, but, but there we'll, are a lot more issues. We'll than... get there. You have to do fourteen thousand <laughs> joints. We can. Do it's it. like an insane like number that when we did research once, like someone mentioned, and we were like, "That's crazy." Like that's it's obviously it an is. arbitrary number. It, but... sa- it sounds impossible in a day, but yeah. you know what? Yeah, yeah. If we get the right rotation circle, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. we so... might be able to get there. <laughs> we gotta grab Latrice. We we'll have, we'll have to call them too. Latrice, Georges, you, me, you me. Who else Ooh, we call? Who else we call? Um, Ooh, we'll come Jasmine Kennedy. Jasmine. Oh, Jasmine. Jasmine Kennedy, Kennedy down. smokes down. Crystal um, method. Crystal. Coco. Jimbo. Coco joined the club. Coco smokes too. Yes. Now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wow. Grandma. <laughs> A T. <laughs> Tia. I learned that recently. Tia. Tia. Mm. What does that Tia. mean? I'm bilingual now, honey. Okay, bitch. <laughs> it means <laughs> auntie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Duolingo. Honey. Been here. Thanks, Duolingo. She's been subscribed to Duolingo. <laughs> to Duolingo for four years, and now she finally has learned Tia. And she's learned a shorthand version of calling somebody auntie. <laughs> And literally still saying it wrong. Uh, still just, just uh, Tia. Tia and Tamara. She's like, Tia. Tia. Nobody's turning around. Nobody's. <laughs> Girl, they just think it's another person in L.A. walking down the street. Um, <laughs> That's just her name. But if but if you think if you think about it, if someone were, were too high, like, what is the highest amount of, like, known THC that somebody's had in their body that's been, like, Well, wild? okay, the one thing that's, like, very important about the understanding of THC and marijuana is that, okay, so essentially when you consume marijuana, you're increasing the amount of these things in your body called cannabinoids, Mm -hmm. which are naturally in your body. We all have them. They help control sleep, anxiety, hunger, all these things. You know, you get how weed affects All the side effects of Mm -hmm. of the product. So that's an important part of your neurology, your cannabinoid system. It like maintains your balance. So when you smoke weed, depending on like specific receptors, CB1 receptors in your brain, it's very different for everyone. In fact, if you're feeling anxious that day and you smoke weed, the weed might make you feel less anxious. If you're feeling really chill, you might smoke weed and it makes you feel amped. Like your actual physical being before you smoke weed affects its effect on you. On top of that, depending on who you are, who you are, your own physiology, you can't expect if you're passing that blunt rotation and all those people for the weed to affect people the same way. That's why some people can't do it. They get way too high, whereas other people can smoke, smoke, smoke. So it's it's a lot more to do with your cannabinoid system like at rest. So they're really, it really isn't a drug, like unlike MDMA, these other drugs, which physiologically kind of affect everyone similarly. Mm-hmm. Marijuana has a much more like varied effect on people, Complex. which I think is important because I definitely used to be like, let's smoke joint, like, you know, like try and smoke like smoke up my friends and I'd be like, why are they freaking out? Like okay. this is so fun. Going like, sativa time. Can't. Let's all get lit. Oh my God. Yeah. And then people yeah. still fall asleep. It's not, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You're like, why are you asleep? Like, let's chat. Yeah. yeah. They, oh, I, mean, I had a friend who came to visit and they smoked just, they took two puffs of my weed uh-huh. and they ended up having to spend the night on the bathroom floor throwing up. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. So I, 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 and I was like, I'm on cloud nine. I feel great. <laughs> it's like, I, I gave him a blanket and together, a bro. I was, I was like, here's a blanket and a pillow, baby. I'll see you. Went back outside smoking. Okay, look. Because you know how to handle it. Uh, it, it, hits, you, it hits me correctly, at least. It, well, if yeah. the more that you would smoke weed, it would obviously like raise your tolerance to weed, right? Or 
Totally. And that's why it can be very difficult to, as much as it's not considered like addictive as other drugs might be, it, there still yeah. is withdrawal from weed. Like, I don't know yeah. if either of you have ever tried to like take a break or quit. There's like a ton of rebound <laughs> symptoms. <laughs> like, yeah. never been I, I, never I, I have. It. I took a little break. I, feel like, I took a little break. But, How long was it? And what um, happened? I, Did you notice anything? I, well, I Googled what would happen if I took a break, and I feel like I noticed the symptoms that I was reading. <laughs> Did you have, like... I was like, also, I, like, feel, like, I feel like I'm aggravated. And... But I was like, am I? I don't know if I'm aggravated or if I'm just <laughs> reading that I'm supposed to be aggravated, yeah. so I feel aggravated. <laughs> That's what... <laughs> bias. Inceptioning yourself. <laughs> yeah, very that. Yeah. But um, I don't know. The one thing that I... Oh. Oh, you can I was going to say, like, I find interesting. I'm I'm obsessed with sleep, and obviously, mm -hmm. a lot of people use uh, weed as a sleep aid. And also, like, I smoke weed. I'm a proponent of it. So when I'm talking about the negative stuff, I don't mean to be like negative about it. Yeah. But it's worth knowing that, like, the good thing about weed is it increases the time it takes to fall asleep. So that's called sleep onset latency. So when they do studies, they're like, oh, especially people who have insomnia are able to fall asleep. But it does something similar to alcohol, which is not good. Have you heard of REM sleep, rapid eye movement? Not REM sleep, not REM. Yeah, we're not, not REM. 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 Not REM while you're asleep. That sounds no. great. I was like, this is, I've done that before. This is right? when you dream. I've fallen yeah, asleep while sleep. getting... Tell me, that's better than Folgers in the morning, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Girl. Well, either way, it destroys your REM sleep. It spreads it out. You get way less. And so that like slowly... You, you'll dream less. So a lot of people notice when they're high a lot, they don't have as many dreams. And then oh, when they yeah. stop smoking, they get like crazy dreams and wild dreams because your body's like craving this REM sleep, which helps your brain develop in certain ways. Um, and so there are ways in which like chronic weed use can impact your brain and your body and why it can be really hard to quit. Because when you take a break, like there can be a lot of symptoms. Mm -hmm. And there's a new disease called cannabis hyperemesis syndrome. Okay. So if you smoke more than eight joints a day, People are starting to show up in Canada, like the numbers are rising and you can't stop vomiting. And in fact, <laughs> you scream and vomit at the same time. And it's called scromiting. And ERs in Colorado and Canada are seeing these, these people coming in and it's because they're consuming too much weed over long periods of time. So keep it's almost like the new that. shark, except through no. the face. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's like the face shark, mm -mm. scromit. Everything coming yeah, so, out of the face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that would be horrible. That would be the absolute <laughs> worst. I, I know. Who's giving the exorcist down? Uh -huh. Apparently, the doctors are like, oh, scrumming, got him in cannabis hyperemesis. Like, they're just like, oh, oh so they're going no. to the hospital too. You have to be hospitalized for this. Yes, you can't. And the reason you're scrumming is because there's no more food left in you, but you can't. It's a, it's a lot. But anyways, you got to be careful. You're, you're stuck in a loophole. So y'all hear that? Eight <laughs> blunts a day. I I think that we do have an answer to how high is too that, high. That, that sounds Eight right. Eight blunts. Eight blunts a day. Okay, okay. Right. Eight blunts a day is too much. <laughs> you don't have to black out from the weed. but yeah, we know. If you're screaming and vomiting, baby, I think that's probably too far. <laughs> you probably, you've probably hit your peak. What are y'all thoughts on like the popularity right now of cannabis? I mean, I'm a stoner, been a stoner since grade 10. Wow. I'm a little, I'm sad that I started in grade 10 because a lot of the long-term impacts about why it's bad are on young developing brains. So I'm like, I already abolished that aspect of like, <laughs> you know, cortex. you're professional yeah. on the subject. Yes. <laughs> but, um, I mean, I try to keep it like, I love edibles. I eat like probably two to three edibles a week and that's sort of like my vibe okay but i am like i'm, a, I'm a, i love it but i have to sort of like be aware of the downfall of it in order to keep it you know so i'm a little worried about how some people like how it gets kind of pitched as like this all-encompassing like good thing yeah. yeah i love it so much like it's definitely great in a lot of ways it's fun it's Ooh. much less dangerous than like alcohol and many other drugs which can harm other people as well you know right like, there are ancillary effects of taking other drugs. Um, and obviously there's like elements of CBD and a lot of studies that have found like it can be really good for anxiety. It can be really good for sleep. So like there's great research out there. But yeah, I think it's kind of like the pendulum may have swung in such a direction where it's like everyone thinks it's good in every way. You know, the bad effects aren't stopping us from doing it. It's just like useful to know. Oh, to it's know like that. affecting my sleep. Maybe it's worth like trying a break here and there, just like knowing what it noticing that what's me. happening and what to do about it. Okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah, like being how, prepared. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. I find like when I travel sometimes, I'm like, oh, this will be my break. And then sometimes I'm like on grinder trying to find weed. And then I'm like, am I about to suck dick for weed? Yes. <laughs> and I'm like, maybe yes. I have a problem. <laughs> Bro- Bro- Whoa. Is it a problem? Well, I don't know. It feels like a two for one. <laughs> or is it, yeah, two for one. Two where's, for one. Where, <laughs> where is the problem? I don't know. <laughs> now, it seems like it was solved. Now, if, now if it's trade that you don't want. <laughs> yeah, that's, now so you, that's, that's when so you're you, So you've never just settled. <laughs> Would um, I ever no, just settle? Say, You've never just. That. I don't know. I'm trying to think right now. You've never just like okay, I guess. No, <laughs> girl, no. Oh my god, girl, never. Yeah, I'm the, no, type of, I'm the type of girl that would go shopping, and I'm like, oh my god, this is more of a tomato red than like an orange red. I don't think I'm getting the dress. I'm that specific. I don't know if I could just be like, just fuck it. Let's just do it. Okay. Fuck I didn't it. know what fuck you were talking me. about. I thought you were talking about butthole colors. And I was like, what? Oh, my God. Well, we oh, my God. We can get to Nobody's that. Nobody's asshole should be tomato red. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, that is fierce. There's a problem. Are you serious? That is problem. fierce. <laughs> That's when you know they probably have shigella and food poisoning and you shouldn't eat and that. Girl, and you shouldn't eat that home. Or that they've been in the bathroom putting drugs in their asshole at the club. Have you ever? <laughs> Not me, but. You've seen it, though. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Not judging, just seeing it. I don't, we don't judge here. This we is never, a, this is a judgment-free judge podcast. Mm-hmm. But Heidi, I'm going to tell you, when we leave this podcast, I got some judgment. We got, we have to I just spit on the mic. I'm sorry. And with that, I think we should take a break. All right, welcome back. It's time to react. Yes, y'all. We're going to get into some emails. Mm. And we do have our very special guests with us still at this very moment. ASAP Science. Logo. ASAP Science. ASAP. Do y'all like ASAP Science or ASAP Science? It was ASAP. ASAP. It was based on ASAP Rocky. That's what I was thinking. There we are. There we are. As long as the lawsuit doesn't come, let's just keep it rolling. Do you, um, do you want to do the first one? I think I should. And then we can just all react to these emails and like, yeah. First email. Would you want to re uh re would you want to be reincarnated forever and why? Oh, would I, would you want to reincarnate forever or why? Hmm. And why? I've read that very bad. You, <laughs> you're pretty, so reading doesn't have to be your strong suit. Thank soon. you. I wish my teachers would have told me that. <laughs> yes. I've been like hoping to God that's the way it works. <laughs> what would you want to be next? Like, a bird. Hello. Okay. Fly. Fly high. Be one of those hawks that d- nose dive and get their prey. Yeah, eat a, eat a mouse. Have you seen those videos? I've seen them, but why would you want to be that Sniped, one, Heidi? I sniped another duck's head off. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you want to be no you, I just you've been I just coming was... for the girls like that anyway and, and we'll continue to do so coming for these girls for... next <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. coming for these girls next uh-huh. I, I would I, I feel like I would want to reincarnate but then I'm like scared like what if you come back as like an animal you just really don't fuck with like that like a possum yeah yeah girl oh my god and, oh, what if you came back as a naked mole rat oh fuck yes. not saying they're not cute no. but girl I would I can't be do over it I would if we could get to choose I would but if not I don't know if I want to risk being something like a naked mole rat I don't know see yeah what would you choose um what, ooh. Ooh. the hawk a Pikachu <laughs> I, I like the, a, ooh, <laughs> not a Pokemon I would come back as the first Pikachu <laughs> you better get into it well oh I would, or, or those like tortoises that live for like two forever years just, like, they move too slow move. for me you think uh, okay. you you don't get around well, but also and also this is the thing too it, it feels like it's a very good idea to be like oh I'm gonna come back as a tortoise but I was watching a science movie about the tortoises making it to the to the water from the beach. Mm. It's what scary. if you come back Especially as one of those tortoises that don't reach the water? One of the baby ones that <laughs> don't make it. That's fierce. Girl, then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I want to come back as a turtle. And I was like, back. and then what did you want to come back as? Because <laughs> <laughs> now you need a backup plan. <laughs> it's going to be all of a few minutes. And then God, then you no. hatch out and just get snatched up by the same hawk that swooped down and broke a duck's <laughs> neck. Tiny the hawk just killing turtles Excuse all me. day. Come she said, sorry, girl. Oh, I'd be a hawk. I live. Oh, okay. 
Heidi the Hawk. Heidi the Hawk. Honestly, I might have to sh- take that. I live. <laughs> or Harriet the Hawk. Harriet the Hawk. Who's Harriet? <laughs> you could just change your name. Just, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I might as well at this point. <laughs> Harriet the Hawk. Might as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's do the next, next one. Next one. What is a skill you wish you still commonly taught in school? Wish was still commonly taught. <laughs> you in wish, we're both you wish you come. <laughs> I'm like, I've never taught in school, so I don't. Curse of writing. <laughs> Reading. I taught, these hoes, I taught these hoes not to come for me. I wish that was still taught in school. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The, the, the school services, not school services. Uh, the, I'll say this. I, at this moment, I wish reading was still taught in school. That's what I wish. <laughs> baby, clearly it wasn't. Clearly it wasn't today. Not for us, baby. <laughs> they said no child left behind but us. What is, what is a skill <laughs> you wish was still commonly taught in school? What Cursive. Cursive is good. I Cursive. Think, Whoa. Cursive. Really? Because they, well, how are you going to sign things now? How do you, <laughs> you can't, how are these kids going to sign? Like, it says signature. <laughs> it says signature on all paperwork. You, well, now the girls are e-signing on, things. You still got to know how to cursive to print it, to, uh, to do the signature. You and, need a signature. And also, I feel like love letters. <laughs> Don't nobody oh, want a love true. letter in Much more bad romantic. handwriting. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's a, it's a, a trait, uh-huh. a talent, an art form that's been yeah. lost on our on our uh, later generations. <laughs> it's so sad. I would say I wish that like we could do like like didn't like back in the day like in like a sexist way they would like teach women to like clean and cook. Yes, home ec. <laughs> I'm like I want that. Oh God, home economics. Oh. Okay, yeah. let me tell you this. I'm I fell like in love with home ec. I, I enjoyed home ec. That's where I started learning you. how to sew a little bit. That's where I learned how to bake cookies, even though I still don't do it now. But you know. <laughs> Home act made the drag queen so vibe. Yes. Um, Woodworking. Yes, like a little bit of housework stuff would oh, be no. nice. I'm and I ain't in school. In <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> not the woodwork. <laughs> I'm not in school, but I'll work some wood, mama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woodwork. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Uh, okay, I'm sex sorry. Sex ed? Do they still do sex ed? Sex I ed? I don't know. Ed. Not I in mean, Florida. <laughs> yeah, I went to a Catholic school. Definitely didn't get sex out. Let me tell you. <laughs> and it's not the kind that they're trying to teach. They're not teaching the right kind. I'm like, if they're giving no. sex ed, I don't think they even give it. They're talking about, in the beginning, there was, there's a vagina and penis. I'm like, you know, y'all need to be giving education. 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 <laughs> Real education. Safe. Teaching people ways to be safe. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I remember, like, I put a condom on, like, a wooden dick in grade eight, and I got semi-hard and was like, uh-oh. Woodworking. <laughs> uh-oh. Like, woodworking. Woodworking. <laughs> oh, God. Hey. Sure, that's, what's gay? That was the coming out story. <laughs> yeah, woodworking. Like, is, is anyone else hard while they do this? <laughs> <laughs> is anyone else hard while they do this? <laughs> <laughs> is this common? <laughs> what does it mean if you're semi hard? <laughs> you imagine raising your hand and asking that? Oh my god, <laughs> that would be a gag Child, well, if class. You're not, well, if you're not giving sex ed, then people don't even know. know. They don't. Yeah. How do you know? You gotta ask these questions. You have to <laughs> hard hitting questions. I mean, and that's hard. why we're here. <laughs> hard. We have another email too. Okay. okay, dear Heidi and Jada, and I guess I guess y'all are here as well. So we don't want to be dismissive or rude. <laughs> um. In the end, does it matter who ends a relationship? Boom. Oh. This is tough. I'm not going to say this is tough for y'all like y'all don't know how to talk about this, but y'all are science people. This is emotion. Yeah. What do you say? Psychology. Psychology. I think actually like often the person who gets broken up with feels that it is going to be harder. But a lot of studies show that when people go through like tough times, they they grow the most and often look back and feel the best about it in the long run because they're able to say like, thank God that hard thing happened to me. It transformed me. So yeah. as much as it probably hurts more in the moment, the science often shows that the person who hurt more grows more, feels better, moves on. And they don't uh, have to feel any regret, mm-hmm. right? Like the other person might regret. Yes. They're, they didn't yeah. make the decision. I think We that... love a victim. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> I think, to me, I feel like when a relationship is ending, that it feels like, okay, I'm going to say I'm high again. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm, all right. It feels like when a relationship is ending that you want, you you kind of want for it to be somebody's fault. But sometimes I think that a lot of people are wanting to be out of those 
situations anyway. A lot of people check out early. And I think it's just like the the fact of being like salty, like, oh my God, they beat me to the punch or that they said it and you didn't say it. But some people don't mm-hmm. even want to be in those spaces in, in the first place, I feel like. Yeah, because some people, they full on just check out of the relationship early and it's like, well, what's the point? And they just need a reason for it to to bring it to the end, but they just yeah. don't want to bring it to the end. Because to do it themselves. They don't want to be the one to do it. Yeah. Huh. So they need a reason. But honestly, I don't think, for me, how the question was posed, I don't think it, for, I, the growth thing was lovely. Yeah. But I don't think it, like, as far as, like, mattering in the, in, like, in the grand scheme <laughs> the of things. The growth thing was lovely. I don't, <laughs> like, I feel like. It's it, over. It's over. Good. I feel like it's. <laughs> it's but it, but, it, but, it, but then, it's, like, again, it depends on the person because, like, if you don't want it to be over and then it's over, good. Then you like, well, bitch, what? Devastated. Yeah. yeah. I've been on both ends. Okay. Uh, yeah. I heard. Do you guys know that therapist Esther Perel? Do you know her? No, oh, I who's don't. Who's Esther? She's really famous, but she she's she said something that in every relationship, one person is more scared to lose the other person, and the other is more scared to lose themselves, and it's a constant push and pull between oh, these two things oh in a relationship that often works. Yeah. Unless it's two sages. I see it. <laughs> then neither one of them give a fuck. D- not a girl. one. Not one fuck <laughs> given, bitch. Oh, my God. But that, that, I think that that is important, though. An important question, though. Have you ever been broken up with? Um, I don't know why I asked the question. I can look I at your tail. I'm answer. trying to think. I feel, like, um, I feel like a lot of the situations that, have, that were, like, ended, it was, like, kind of like a, well, we just kind of, like, fell out of something versus more fell of being, like... It's over, unless I said, like, I'm done. Yeah. Could you do that? Could you just be like, I'm done? I feel like, yeah, but then I feel like, I don't know. I think when, when you're in a relationship, you're, the, like, I mean, I think that we all should be able to, be like, make decisions for ourselves. But unfortunately, there is another person involved. So you do have to think about that person, especially right. if you really love them, too. You have to think about their feelings. But also, at the same time, when is the right time to say, I'm done? So, even if you don't want to, you sometimes you might have to. The line is different for everybody. Yeah. Wow, that's deep, Jada. You I feel like we just cracked something open right here. <laughs> Wide open. If, if y'all are listening to healed. this, like, screen record this conversation and run it back. <laughs> Look in the mirror and listen to this. Let this be a marker for you and your life starting today. <laughs> don't do that. Don't we do have that. another email. <laughs> 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 the next one is, honey... What is your go-to vice when life is weighing down heavily on you? I'm not going to say pills. Weed and jacking off. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, oh, I was say my burn. God. <laughs> Heidi, what the Weed fuck? Weed and jacking off. No, Heidi, I've slept exactly on your couch before. That. That's me. That's 100% me. Uh, if I'm sad, I'm going to go jack off. <laughs> I'm me a, too. I'm Weed a, and porn. I'm going to smoke a fat blunt and I'm going to go jack off. Period. Now, where are you going? Twitter? <laughs> Oh my, my vidster. What are the tasks? I, you know, I, 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 I go to Twitter to start off. You know, get <laughs> get and the little clips and stuff going. Get get the motor is, running. This is not a family. This is and not then, a family pod. <laughs> this is the, If you have little motor ones, running. take the little ones out of the room at this time. If you have not already removed them out of, get them out of the house, out of the car. Stop the car. Push them out. Get them out. If the Shigello red asshole wasn't enough, <laughs> get out. No, now. that no, that was sex ed. Educational. That was sex ed. Okay, that was for education. And we purposes. learning now too. Yeah, even about the Kids, winking are you ass. Listening? We are learning how to deal with depression. De- okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> not <laughs> educational. I not this the, bitch I is just high gooning out on her couch. <laughs> Because she, she said, I lost the gig. And this bitch is just <laughs> slobbing, losing her fucking mind. Girl, no, ma'am. <laughs> you, ain't never, you ain't never got sad and just jacked <laughs> off. So you start to play with me. And if you if you watching this clip right now okay. and you said I've never gotten sad and went and played with myself, you're a fucking uh, who liar. Said, girl, who said maybe? <laughs> I, I don't play with myself if I'm sad. I only when I'm angry. <laughs> so you just oh like, my god <laughs> ferocious jacking that's what you yes. just mad jack I'm like you fucking pig <laughs> <laughs> oh we're out of time oh, okay sorry, sorry. thank uh, god thank you for the emails <laughs> thank y'all so much um <laughs> <laughs> ASAP I apologize science. thank y'all so much for joining us and thank being you. here with us on this journey y'all have been so sweet so good to us <laughs> truly I am gagging 
God. But it's like an honor to actually be able to sit down and talk with y'all because y'all have been very fun guests and very insightful. Of course, you, thank it's you an for honor to be us. in front of you. We love both of you so much. Thank We're not just saying you. Like, and our drag queen hierarchy. Hi. Thank you. Yes. I was gonna, so I was about to tell loved. you to tell us where, but then I'm like also at the same time, I'm a realist and I understand that although I'm a What do you mean like where? Like like, like number, number one and number she two. Wanted, she wanted Honestly, numbers. Honestly, you numbers. know about my Top two at nine, number one. <laughs> no, like you're maybe even for like I don't know. I don't know Drag Race so well, to okay. be honest. But you Good. I've seen all of both of your seasons and you can attest to my love of both of them a yes. lot. Like, Thank you. You guys are, yeah, yeah. I don't even know the other people's names because you're one and two. Done. Ha! Well, Period. That sounds about right. Heidi, I think I'm number one and you're number two. And that's, that's okay usually how me. it goes. Well, <laughs> that's usually how it goes. It's fine. Number two because you the shit girl. Uh, and two. <laughs> <laughs> but what I don't do is eat an asshole that's had uh, food poisoning. Strigelia. So, how go. do I say it? Strigelia? Sy- Shigella, not Shigella. 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 Hallelujah. You can- <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, your butt scream. Hallelujah. That's a simple no, uh, a symptom. Hallelujah. Hallelu. <laughs> <laughs> that is, I feel like that is so fierce that somebody could give Hallelu. you food poisoning through eating their ass. Uh, yeah, that could be a revenge tactic as well. Oh you know my god! Now, I, 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 I'm gonna go get food to poison. Not, I'm gonna sit on some face. Literally, not revenge <laughs> sex to your <laughs> ex. You're like, let's just do it one last just time. One last I miss time. you so much. Sit on their face, <laughs> give them food poison, and then what? Them. And this is the gag. This is a real shady gag. What restaurant would you go to to guarantee that you could get that food poisoning to give it? <laughs> Ooh. So I'm like Taco Bell, girl. I want. I'm not gonna. I'm say, can I say I had got food poison at uh-huh. Wendy's? I did you, at Wendy's. At, at Wendy's, yes. But, okay, but you know what? That's what I get because I had the chili, and you know the oh, chili ain't know, nothing but was, a torn up burger. You did, you did that to yourself. Baby. Yeah, I did you, that. You got the chili, <laughs> but well, you know what? They, someone got a finger that one time. You know you gonna get food poisoning. Oh, that was that real? <laughs> did y'all did y'all hear about that? The finger that was in the chili. Yeah, y'all, we are just oh, really? like an actual <laughs> finger. <laughs> Wendy's, yeah. someone, please, please don't come for us. Finger was in chi- I, Wendy's, Wendy's, we still like would love an endorsement. Fast, we love Wendy's. You're my favorite fast we would food never, chain. We would, I would come back and get food poisoned again as long as you work with me. The son of the baconator, <laughs> fierce. <laughs> Honestly, even a, fa- a fast food chain is probably even less likely because most of their stuff is like grilled or deep fried. Yeah, it's such a bigger risk is often like washed lettuce and stuff. Things that people's hands Ooh, touch but don't. Chop shop. Don't get you, like cooked. I know where I would go. <laughs> there was a seafood place. In Oklahoma. Already off to a good start. <laughs> Fresh seafood, they say. Yeah, there you go. It was a seafood, a seafood truck. <laughs> Not a fresh food. Fresh seafood in Oklahoma. That is a smart place to go. Get, get the warm clams, I say. I suggest the warm clams. <laughs> <laughs> you need oh to stop that right now. Can't you imagine? She you go, you go, you gonna try to revenge. You gonna try to get them sick, and you gonna fuck around and die. You will be dead. <laughs> <laughs> there will be no ass to eat, mom. <laughs> You'll be dead. <laughs> Shut, up, Shut up right now, <laughs> y'all. Thank y'all so much for coming and talking thank with you. us. <laughs> um, thank can, you for thank having you. us. Can y'all tell people where to find y'all? Yes. At, and where they can stay abreast with you. Of course. Yeah. The three well, people who are already not ASAP following y'all. Science. Yeah. <laughs> ASAP okay. Science on basically every platform. We have a podcast called Side Note as well, um, where we talk about like controversial subjects and the science behind them. So if you want to know like more about ass. eating ass, <laughs> want to know more about poppers, you want to know more about weed, come and hang out with us. Ooh, we, ooh, <laughs> we need to talk to y'all, talk with y'all again, because I have a question for y'all since y'all do YouTube, YouTube. about showing your butthole on YouTube. Oh it was science it was education. educational. I understand yeah. that, but it was educational, mm. Jada. Let it go. But it was a jump I'm scare. Oh, it, it was definitely like whoa, jump scare. Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa! <laughs> Click that educational. The person was teaching about mm-hmm. thine butthole, and I guess, but it didn't have to wink at the, us. The hole was the loophole. No, 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 no. The education. I was all for education until she blinked. I said, "Okay, now wait a minute, girl. <laughs> this is not." This is not. That's tough. how. That's how horses have sex. The female winks. It's called winking. Yeah, that's literally a thing. They wink uh-uh. the whole. Uh, this the vagina, this like a dark like, side over here. Wow! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. my yeah, so. god! Uh-uh. This is dark side. Good to know because if I ever see a horse winking at me, I'm like, girl, I don't do do that. <laughs> I don't do that. I'm not into that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, not. I'm not that kind of girl. <laughs> you, you like horses. <laughs> I love horses, but I don't like, like winking horses. You like you like them um, like. <laughs> Never mind. Ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> they're bad. They're bad. They're bad. You uh, got me. <laughs> right, Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye, darlings. Oh, oh, oh! What's going on? Oh, oh, bitch, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> ah! <laughs> wah 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 wah. Oh, we should. Y'all, we are back. Thank you so much for listening to Hall and Closet. I'm Jada Essence Hall. And I'm Heidi in Closet. And we want to give a big thank you again to our very special guest, ASAP Science, for joining us today. Absolutely. And make sure that you can follow us on social media at Jada Essence Hall, Jada E. Hall, and me at Heidi in Closet. And follow our show at Hall and Closet Pod. And why is reading so hard today. Well, I feel like because I'm better at that than you. Well, then do it then, if you're so good at it. You, what? No, because I got the next line. It's kind of cute. Do you want me to try this one again? I think then? you should try it. I think I can read. You can do whatever you want to believe. <laughs> I, wait. I love your confidence. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sister. You never seen that video, Jennifer. Never mind. Uh, uh, you've always been a good supporter of me. Okay. You can follow us on social media at Jada E. Hall and Heidi in Closet and follow our show at Hall and Closet Pod and Mom Podcast at Mom Podcast. Yes. And look, y'all, you can always send us your most fascinating fun facts, your burning questions, or your jaw dropping, shocking news and stories to Hall and Closet at gmail.com. And make sure that you are subscribed to this podcast wherever you listen to your podcast so you never miss an episode. Mm-hmm. Look, see you next week for more Hall and Closet. To listen to Hall and Closet ad free and one week early, and to experience all of Mom Podcast premium content, check out Mom Plus Gold at mompodcast.plus. Hall and Closet is produced by Moguls of Media, aka Mom. Production supervision, engineering, and editing by Margo Padilla with theme music by Will Pitts. Executive produced by Willem, Alaska, Big Dipper, Camille Stennis, and Joe Celio. Mm-hmm.